Hi everyone. This is uh, part two of establishing identities using the sum to product and product to sum formulas. These are a little harder than the part one. And then we will also have a part three that are the harder ones. So basically you're gonna use all your formulas. So have those ready because uh, that was uh, from the prior two videos that I put the formulas on there. And um, we're going to continue on. So I'm going to work always on the left side here. And I'm going to write these as um, sum to product. So we're doing sum to product here. And we're going to get um, sine of theta times 2 sine of theta plus 3 theta over 2 times cosine of theta minus 3 theta over 2. Now this equals sine times 2 sine of 2 theta times cosine of negative theta which is actually positive theta. Okay and what I'm going to do now is yes, I'm going to switch these two. I'm going to bring out cosine and bring him out here and put the sine in here. Um, and it's going to help me um, get to this point because I want a cosine on the outside. So I'm going to bring out my cosine and put cosine of theta. There should be a theta there. Cosine of theta times 2 sine of 2 theta times sine of theta. All right, now um, I'm going to use my product to sum on this inner part here. So I'm going to get cosine, I don't know if I'm going to get all this in here, um, times 2 times 1 half, and I'm dealing with this part in here now, of cosine of theta minus cosine of 3 theta. And that all equals cosine of theta times cosine minus cosine of 3 theta. And all I did was use my um, formula here to get to this step. So you um, need to know your formulas. And we had already did this the last video, so we're kind of building on that. Okay, the next one is very similar. We have sine times sine of theta times sine of 3 theta plus sine of 5 theta. And we want this to equal cosine times cosine of 3 theta minus cosine of 5 theta. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. So just use your formulas and we're going to get sine of theta times 2 sine of 3 theta plus 5 theta over 2 times cosine of 3 theta minus 5 theta over 2. Simplify and we get sine of theta times 2 sine of 4 theta times cosine of negative theta change that to a positive it's an even identity and now I'm going to write this uh, as a uh, this part right here as a uh, sum and I'm gonna, first of all I'm gonna move this guy out and sign in here so I can do it so I'm going to move my cosine of theta out because that's what we have here and I'm going to get 2 times 1 half of cosine of 3 theta minus cosine of 5 theta and then when the two this cancels out you get this so you're going to get cosine of theta equals cosine of 3 theta minus cosine of 5 theta all right Let's do a different one. A different kind is this one. We have a sine of 4 theta 
plus sine of 8 theta over cosine of 4 theta plus cosine of 8 theta. And we want this to equal tan of 6 theta. So that's my end goal. So I'm basically going to just break this up. And we get 2 sine of 4 theta plus 8 theta over 2 times cosine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2 over 2 times cosine of the thetas cosine of theta of 4 theta plus 8 theta over 2 times cosine there's not a theta there sorry all right cosine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2. Now this is going to yield um, 2 sine of 6 theta times cosine of negative 2 theta over 2 cosine of 6 theta times cosine of negative 2 theta. Now these cancel, I'm not even going to make it even, and clearly this equals um, 2 tan of 6 theta, so it matches there. Okay, the next one's very similar. We have, um, we're going to check and see if this equals sine of 4 theta minus sine of 8 theta over cosine of 4 theta minus cosine of 8 theta. And this is supposed to equal negative, and it will, if you do it right, negative cotan of 6 theta. So we're just going to use our um, product to sum, and uh, or sum to product formula. And we get 2 sine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2 times cosine of 4 theta plus 8 theta over 2 all over 2 times sine of 4 theta minus or plus 8 theta over 2 times sine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2. Now, when I simplify this, I get uh, 2 sine of negative 2 theta times cosine of 6 theta over negative 2 sine of 6 theta times sine of negative 2 theta. Now simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel these two out. Um, this cancels but we have negative 1. So negative 1 times cosine of 6 theta over sine of 6 theta and that's just going to be negative cotan of 6 theta which matches. So we did it. All right, so the next one is very similar. We want to do, it's a little different, um, sine of 4 theta plus sine of 8 theta over sine of 4 theta minus sine of 8 theta. And we want this to equal negative tan of 6 theta, which it will, over tan of 2 theta. So this is going to be negative here. All right, so we're going to work on the left side, and we get 2 times sine, we're doing the product to sum, or sum to product, 
4 theta plus 8 theta over 2 times cosine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2 all over negative 2 times sine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2 times cosine of 4 theta plus 8 theta over 2. Now we simplify this, we're going to get uh, 2 sine of 6 theta times cosine of negative 2 theta over 2 um, sine of negative 2 theta times cosine of 6 theta. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this to save room on here to a positive and I'm going to bring out the negative here and that's going to be positive and um, let's see what we get. We're going to get um, um, when you clean this up you're going to get negative tan of 6 theta because this is the twos cancel that's just going to be negative 1 out here that's from this times cotan of 2 theta all right but cotan equals 1 over tan. So cotan of 2 theta equals 1 over tan of 2 theta. So I'm just going to move him down and we get, um, I'm going to move him down to the bottom. So it's going to be negative tan of 6 theta over tan of 2 theta. So all I had to do was just move him down so it looks like that. Okay? And we're going to do one more, and then we're going to go on to part three. Because this one's very similar, so we'll do an extra one. We have cosine of 4 theta minus cosine of 8 theta over cosine of 4 theta plus cosine of 8 theta. All right, and I wrote this down wrong, so this should be like this. All right, and this is all supposed to equal tan of 2 theta times tan of 6 theta. So we're going to write it all out, and we get negative 2 sine of 4 theta plus 8 theta over 2 times sine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2 all over 2 sine of 4 theta plus 8 theta over 2 times cosine of 4 theta minus 8 theta over 2. Now this is going to yield um, negative 2 sine of 6 theta times sine of negative 2 theta all over 2 sine of 6 theta uh, times cosine of negative 2 theta. Now this negative here, I'm going to bring out front because it's an odd function to make it positive. So make both those positive. The cosine one is automatically we can make it positive. And basically what we have is um, this one, it should have been um, 2 sine, so I made that positive. And this should have been cosine, so sorry, copied that down wrong, so it's cosine. I knew something was wrong, so this would be cosine. All right. And then you just simplify. This is going to be here as tangent. So that's um, the twos cancel. So we get tan of 6 theta times tan of 2 theta, which is if you flip them around, this matches. 
Okay, the next set we're going to do is part three, and they're harder just because there's more steps, that's all. More multi-step uh, establishing identities. Have a nice day.